you're going to Ilha de Quiamada Grande, one of the most dangerous islands in the world. There, you find yourself among rainforests, huge rocks, and grasslands. The place is home to birds, locusts, and giant cockroaches. But there's one more animal, and because of it, the island got its notorious reputation. Snakes live there, and a lot of them. So many that the place is also known as Snake Island. Will you survive there? Located just 20 miles away from the coast of Brazil, the island has an area of 43 hectares, or over 100 acres. It probably got cut off from the mainland after the last ice age. The snakes were also separated from most other animal species. They didn't have competitors and had an unlimited source of food. In such a small area, there are up to 4,000 snakes. That's one snake for every 10 square feet. It would be a difficult feat not to come across a snake on this island. Not only is this snake, the golden lancehead, one of the most numerous on the island, but it's also a highly venomous pit viper species. And it's also one of the most venomous in all of Latin America. Its venom is so potent due to the isolation of the species, with only birds sharing the land with them. To catch these birds, the snake's venom needed to become extra strong. And indeed, since they got separated from their distant relatives, their venom has become up to five times more powerful. Most of the time, these snakes hide in the trees or amongst leaves on the ground. If you find yourself stranded here, you'll want to keep yourself a safe distance away. Snakes mainly use their sense of smell and rely on vibrations. If you get too close to one, either stand still or slowly walk away. If you make too many vibrations, this will make them feel threatened, causing them to strike. If you spot them a safe distance away, or if you're walking toward tall grass, stamp your feet a couple of times. This will notify snakes of your presence. They won't risk taking down prey larger than they are and will likely slither away. Carrying a stick is always a good idea, just in case you happen to come across a snake accidentally. This way, you'll have an extension of your arm that cannot be bitten. This simple thing might save your life. A stick with a V-shape on the end will give you even more advantage. Even if a snake starts acting aggressively, holding it down will stop it in its tracks. But whatever happens, don't try to pick it up. Okay, but what if you get bitten? The chances are pretty high on this island, of course. First of all, don't try to get the venom out on your own. Make sure you call emergency services immediately. And once help is on the way, apply a wide bandage. A piece of clothing will do if you don't have anything else. Don't try to chase the snake trying to identify the species. Emergency services know how to figure out what venom it is. Now, just keep calm and wait for help. You might be wondering who you can call on this abandoned island. Well, since it's strictly prohibited to visit this place, there are signs advising to stay away all over the island, along with a number you can call if you run into trouble. Let's say you've successfully avoided getting bitten. The next thing to consider is what you can eat there. Snake Island was previously known as Ilha de Quiamada Grande, where Quiamada is Portuguese for forest being lit up or forest fire. The reason for that was the fact that the entire island was deliberately set on fire to make room for a banana plantation. Unfortunately, the banana business didn't turn out to be a success, probably because farmers got sick and tired of snakes. But some banana trees still thrive today, and they can provide you with some much needed nutrients. You'll also want some protein in your diet throughout your stay. Luckily, along with the snakes trapped on the island, there are also cockroaches. These giant prehistoric looking roaches come out at night to feed on plants. Get that barbecue started and enjoy the rare delicacy this island provides. A great way to survive on the island is to avoid it altogether. If by chance you happen to be sailing past, keep in mind that this place was once connected to the mainland. Rocks beneath the waves are very likely to damage the bottom of your boat if you get too close. Make sure you keep an appropriate distance when traveling past. Sure, this island is intriguing, but please remember that no matter how close you get to it, you won't be able to see snakes from the boat. You can only see these creatures if you get close enough, which you really shouldn't do. And it's not only reptiles that make this location dangerous. Pirates visit the island quite often. 
Not the sea shanty singing peg-legged arr pirates, but bio pirates who come there to capture the very thing that makes it so dangerous. They come there for snakes, to catch them and sell them illegally. Since the island got cut off around 11,000 years ago, the golden lance head has evolved within its own unique habitat. So, although there are many reptiles on this island, they're still an endangered species. Due to their limited numbers, their value is very high, reaching up to $30,000 on illegal markets, which gives bio pirates the motivation to catch them. I can think of better ways to make a living. Anyway, let's say you've got all the resources necessary to survive in one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Do you think you would manage this feat? Perhaps you think it's impossible. You'd be surprised at how possible it can be, if you know what you're doing. It turns out many have visited this scary place before. Research teams often come there. They study the golden lance head snake, its environment, and its food sources for conservation purposes. But scientists always make sure there's a doctor on the team. There's also a lighthouse on Snake Island. It had been operated by people until the 1920s. Then it became automated. One guess why. Brazilian authorities visit the lighthouse once a year to make sure it's still functional. Locals on the mainland know the reputation of the island, so the stories of people going missing are minimal. But one group of fishers once got too close to the island. As they were sailing along their normal route, they accidentally neared the shore. Their boat hit a rock under the waves and began filling with water. As the boat was quickly sinking, the men had only two options, to try to survive in the rough sea or swim to the shores of Snake Island. It was a hard choice to make. After all, they had heard the stories, and it wasn't just about snakes. Rumor had it that the island was cursed. Regardless of the stories, the fishers chose to take their chances with Snake Island. After making it to the shore, they tried to be careful. Their knowledge of the island could help them survive. Most importantly, they knew to avoid the rainforest at all costs. As the men got hungry, they carefully walked along the edge of the forest, warily collecting bananas. They were mostly sitting, waiting, and conserving their energy. They could only drink water when it rained. It was just enough to sustain them. They slept on the beach, unprotected from the elements and weather. And all the time, they were so close to the comfort of the lighthouse or caves. They were probably overly cautious, but it was either enduring some discomfort or risking their lives for a dry bed. They didn't yield to the temptation. They managed to survive for three days without being bitten by a snake. After that, a passing boat finally rescued them. So now you know anything is possible. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.